over-the-counter pain relievers like ibuprofen and aspirin and Motrin can be super dangerous on the system. So in this video, I'm gonna give you four very effective, clinically researched on my end as a practitioner to help people get out of pain. And I'm gonna show you the studies and the research and link it below. And I'm gonna give you a guide to uncover these four anti-inflammatory pain lowering remedies. You're gonna be able to do them right away today. So the dangers of over-the-counter medications, NSAIDs, gastric ulcers, bleeding, they increase heart attacks, myocardial infarctions, aspirin actually increases it. That's what has been shown now. Uh, even deaths from these. So that's why it's a concern, why it matters. And I've had several patients take a Motrin, hole in their stomach, uh, increase cancer risks with aspirin, and really hard on the liver and the kidneys. We don't need anything else that's hard on the liver and kidneys. So they are very, very hard on your gut. I highly recommend trying to replace them in your medicine cabinet with something from the below wellness cabinet. So number one, let's dive right in. Research published in the Surgical Neurology magazine, studied 250 patients with non-surgical, right? Just back pain, neck pain. Not from a surgery or anything complicated like that. Just back pain and neck pain. They gave them anywhere from 1,200 milligrams to 2,400 milligrams of omega-3 essential fatty acid from fish. The results, super impressive. It indicates that the fish oil supplementation was not only a very effective at reducing pain, it was actually better at reducing the pain than the NSAIDs, and there was no side effects. This is one of my favorite studies. One of the most commonly taken drugs is over-the-counter NSAIDs. So on a daily basis, here what I would recommend. Take 750 milligrams of DHA and EPA, a combo of those two. Okay, you want that fish oil high in those two. That's where you're getting the pain relief. That type, plant-based, it's gonna be a different type of omega-3. So fish-based, daily 750 milligrams to keep overall inflammation down. Think of this like baby aspirin. Then if you get a spot where you're in pain, your neck, your back, your elbows, your knees, double it. And you are right in the middle of the range of what the study shows, relieves pain with no side effects, better than NSAIDs. Please be sure that your omegas have no fillers, no dyes, no artificial colorings, and that they're from a fresh water fish source. Vetting the source of the company that's providing you the fish oil, very important because fish, if you throw it up onto the bank, stinks really fast. It goes rancid so quickly and it is so delicate as an oil but most companies just pump it out. They pay no attention to that. Your dead giveaway of rancid oil, a see-through container. If it's clear, you know that, that fish oil is rancid. Move on, find another source. Fish oil, omega-3, DPA, EHA, number one for pain relief. Second pain relieving remedy you can do right at home, an Epsom salt bath. Epsom salt is very high in magnesium and sulfate. These have a detoxing effect on the skin and externally relax the muscles. They are also proven to be anti-inflammatory. So a simple version of an Epsom salt bath, follow the package, cup of Epsom salt in a warm bath, soak for 20 minutes. You might not need to do that every single day, but if you've had a rough day, a painful day, a hard working day, very good one to do. Now, keep in mind, that when you get out of the tub, be careful when you're standing up because magnesium dilates the blood vessels. So you get a little lightheaded. So just be careful when you're getting out of it because it changes your blood flow pretty quickly. If you'd like to take it up a notch, in a recipe guide that I posted below for you, you can actually do a detoxing Epsom salt bath by adding in a few of my favorites like baking soda or even a little bit of apple cider vinegar or potentially some essential oils to get a an even deeper detoxing effect while you're using the Epsom salt bath. There's the guide below that's gonna give you those step-by-steps, but let's get to the next two pain relievers. Pain reliever number three, celery. Celery is high in anti-inflammatory bioflavonoids, lutalin and apigenin. Now in a 2015 study, they investigated giving this and these bioflavonoids to rats and they found what it did. Now it had an impact 
on their brains. It had an impact on their learning and their memory, but it suppressed arthritis and it decreased tissue inflammation just from celery and helps out the stomach acid production. So you can break down your foods better and then it decreases bloating and also is helpful for the liver itself as well. So if you've never had celery before, it's very fibrous and the minerals and the salts in it are kind of stuck in the, in the fibers of the celery. So if you blend it, it releases those salts and it releases those bioflavonoids so that your body can absorb them better. So celery juice is actually a better way to go about that. And number four, curcumin. Curcumin can be obtained through the root turmeric. In a study of people with rheumatoid arthritis, the extreme of pain and inflammation, curcumin was even more effective than an anti-inflammatory drug at giving those people relief. It's a potent antioxidant. It neutralizes free radicals in the body due to its chemical structure. It can help neutralize them. So we love the antioxidant effects. That's gonna reduce pain. Emulsified turmeric is gonna give you the best results because powdered turmeric by itself has a tough time getting absorbed in the body. 80% plus of it doesn't actually get absorbed. Now, a lot of people will tell you to take it with black pepper. The problem with that is, is that yes, it is going to help absorb more of the turmeric powder, but black pepper itself is an irritant. It irritates the gut lining so more turmeric can get absorbed. Most people that are already in pain don't need more irritation because that creates more inflammation. It irritates the gut more and the source of most inflammation is an irritated gut. So instead of using a black pepper version or just a powdered version, use an emulsified turmeric submerged with fat it's going to absorb with the fat way higher inside the body. And the ones that, the one that I like to use, I combine turmeric with omega together. So you're getting the fats of the omega with an emulsified fat filled turmeric, it gets 30X the amount of absorption. You can check that out below. Now, to really learn these and have a recipe guide on how you can use shaved turmeric and even add some ginger into it, make some teas. I put that and how to make the Epsom salt baths and the other tips that I've given right here in a guide for you below. But if you've never tried or made celery juice, I put this video right here for you to show you how to do it and go over its incredible benefits. Check it out.